Yes. UN humanitarian agencies are warning that the crisis in South Sudan could endanger millions of lives in the coming months if urgent action is not taken. For the past few weeks, international aid groups have had to mainly airdrop food to people who've been trapped in conflict zones. At the end of a two-day visit to South Sudan, the UN High Commissioner for Refugees, Antonio Guterres, and WFP's Executive Director, Etherine Kazan, called on the parties to the conflict to spare no effort to bring about peace. They also urged the international community to make additional resources available to assist those who've been affected. Traditionally, we wouldn't be here because we would have pre-positioned food, which would have given us the ability to have a distribution that was much more systematic to support the needs of the most vulnerable in this community. But because of the conflict, we're now in a situation where we're airdropping food to get to people so that they have food that they haven't had access to for the last several months during the conflict period. We have already 250,000 uh, uh, refugees that were in exile for 20 years, came back and are again in Uganda, in Kenya, in Ethiopia, and in Sudan. Uh, and uh, if peace does not come soon, we risk that they lose hope and we risk uh, this country to see its future uh, entirely compromised.